Connie Mack has more wins than any other manager in Major League history. He managed his games in a suit, jacket and tie. It can be done. MLB these days insists on managers wearing a uniform, just like the players, and they evidently take it very seriously. Yankees finishing off the sweep today on the Red Sox, but the added kick in the ribs to Terry Francona came last night. An MLB security person actually came into the dugout during the second inning to make sure Francona was wearing his uniform shirt underneath his top. Francona had spoken with Bob Watson of MLB before the game, but he was stunned to get checked on during a game with the Yankees, no less, and Jeter on base. First Francona, then PTI debates. When Derek Jeter's on second base, and I got somebody coming from the league making me go down the runway, I was a little perturbed. I thought he was arresting me. Terry, was that Tuesday night or Wednesday night? Last night, oh. second inning when Jeter was on second. We were trying to keep him close. Unless that <laughs> RSA can keep Jeter close, and he just stay out of the dugout. I I've never seen anything like that before in my life. Middle of the game, you got the fashion police. You know, it, 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 it's this. This is incredible. Welcome back to the PTI program. All right, Danny, was baseball out of line to check Francona's jersey during the game? I'm trying to figure out a way that anyone could possibly defend doing this in the middle of Yankees Red Sox. It's like, outrage. how do you do this? How, you're pulling Terry Francona aside with a runner in scoring position and asking him. Hey, let's make sure what you got underneath that sweater. What sense does that make? If the fashion police are so important, then take Giorgio Armani, put him in the third base coaching box. This is ridiculous. And it's ridiculous on every level. The NFL does this too, where Mike Nolan has to ask permission to wear a suit. The, the, well, they don't do never. this, though. They don't do this. Well, where, where all of a sudden they're going to Mike no, Nolan in the fourth this quarter is worse. and asking, let's make sure you've this got an undershirt worse, on under but, here. But their concern with uniformity of fashion is preposterous. I'll give you an example in baseball. Charlie Manuel ran out the other night to <laughs> protest a call. He looks like something out of a circus. He should not be forced <laughs> to wear to be a uniform. squeezed into no, a uniform. It's, it, it's, it's the only it's sport that does it. utterly this. ridiculous. Basketball coaches can pretty much wear what they want. Football coaches now have a little play in this. Why are baseball managers, considering Connie Mack used to manage in a suit, why are baseball managers forced to do this? The one thing I will say is it's not like Terry Francona is that bu busy. It's a silly thing, yeah. but it's not like he can't just say, look here, you can look at my shirt. I mean, I don't know Before why he's breaking game, this rule all the no, time. No, you have to keep these stupid no, interlopers out of the dugout fine. during that, the but game. But he's not doing that much is what I'm saying. He's sitting there spectating. He's not doing that much managing so during the game. So now you're for this? No, I'm not for it. Don't, don't put one words in One minute left, mouth. we go to the big finish.